It was a dark and stormy night when Inspector Karan Sharma received a call from his superior about a high-profile case that had just landed on his desk. As he drove to the crime scene, he couldn't help but feel a sense of dread wash over him. He knew that this case was going to be a tough one, especially given the notoriety of the accused Asalam Bapu. Asalam Bapu was a self-proclaimed godman who had a large following across India. He had been accused of sexually assaulting a 16-year-old girl in his ashram in Jodhpur, Rajasthan. The Asalam Bapu case is one of the most controversial cases in the history of India. The case received widespread media attention and it divided the nation into two groups, those who believed in Asaram Bapu's innocence and those who wanted justice for the victim. This is the story of the Asaram Bapu case. When Inspector Sharma arrived at the ashram, he was greeted by a scene of chaos. There were crowds of reporters and followers of Asaram Bapu milling about, shouting slogans and demanding that he be released. It took the police several hours to clear the area and gain control of the situation. Once inside the ashram, Inspector Sharma began his investigation in earnest. He questioned the victim, who had been brought to the hospital with injuries consistent with sexual assault. She told him that she had been living at the ashram for several months and had been taken to Asaram Bapu's room under the pretext of being given a special blessing. However, once inside the room, he had forced himself on her. The investigation was complicated by the fact that Asaram Bapu had a large and powerful network of supporters who were doing everything in their power to protect him. There were rumors that he had even tried to bribe the police to drop the case. The police investigated the matter and arrested Asaram Bapu on 1st September 2013. He was booked under various sections of the Indian Penal Code IPC, including rape, wrongful confinement, and criminal intimidation. The case was initially handled by the Jodhpur police but was later transferred to the Central Bureau of Investigation CBI, for a fair trial. They uncovered a pattern of sexual abuse and exploitation that had been going on at the ashram for years. The trial in the Asaram Bapu case began in August 2013. The prosecution produced several pieces of evidence against him, including the victim's statement, medical reports, and DNA samples. The trial continued for several years, and in April 2018, the Jodhpur court pronounced its verdict. Asaram Bapu was found guilty of raping the minor girl and sentenced to life imprisonment. He was also fined 1 lakh rupees. However, the case did not end there as Asaram Bapu filed an appeal in the Rajasthan High Court challenging the lower court's verdict. In December 2019, the Rajasthan High Court began hearing Asaram Bapu's appeal. The hearing was initially supposed to conclude in January 2020, but it was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In March 2021, the hearing resumed, and the court reserved its judgment. On 25 April 2021, the Rajasthan High Court upheld Asaram Bapu's conviction and sentenced him to life imprisonment. The court rejected Asaram Bapu's appeal and stated that there was sufficient evidence to prove his guilt. The court also increased the fine imposed on him from 1 lakh rupees to 5 lakh rupees. The Asaram Bapu case is not just a story of a self-proclaimed godman's fall from grace, but also a reflection of the power and influence of religious leaders in India. Asaram Bapu was not the only spiritual leader accused of sexual assault in recent years. Several other prominent figures, including Ram Rahim Singh, Gurmeet Singh, and Nityananda, have been accused of similar crimes. But it is also a reminder of the dangers of blind faith and the need for education and awareness. The case received widespread media attention and sparked a national debate on the power and influence of religious leaders in India. It is a story that will continue to be discussed and debated for years to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the Asaram Bapu case. We hope that this has been an informative and thought-provoking experience. 
Join us again for more stories on crime and justice.